Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to the FSX404 channel. In this video, I'm doing an ILS approach into Montgomery Field in San Diego. Now, this is my first time doing an ILS approach in a Bonanza. Let me talk a little bit about this. Now, so far, most of my ILS approaches, and I'm pretty good at these, I've done in a Cessna, whether it was a 172, 182, and a 206. But Cessnas, even if it's a 206, it's still designed like a trainer plane. It's very stable. You can basically make it do things that you want it to do, even the 206. Once you get into these high-performance airplanes like Bonanzas, Moonies, Cirruses, and these other fast airplanes, and instrument approaches, and uh, especially ILS approaches, they become a little tougher to do. Reason being is these planes are not trainer planes, and basically you have to be way ahead of this airplane, especially if the ATC does not get you down soon enough. In this case, I knew the ATC wasn't going to get me down to 3,000 feet, where I can intercept the glide slope and set up a proper approach like they teach you in school, but I was ready for it. Now, I had to be aware of that situation and understand that if this plane wasn't at the airspeed that it is now, I wasn't going to make this ILS approach, not in the Bonanza. I'm going to come back and talk one more time after we break out of the clouds, and I want to point out a thing that a lot of flight simulator pilots are not confused about, but they somehow don't, they don't trust me on this, and it has to do flying the airplane on a glide slope center line. Bonanza 182, stop off from heading, turn right heading 260, maintain 3000 until established on the local object, foot island, clear to act. Roger, heading 230, we'll maintain 3000 until established, clear to island, 28 right, Devon Air 182. Heading 250 to join, Devon Air 182. Roger, heading 250. Traffic a mile inside of Samos, appears to be uh, northbound, I'll communicate 2900, maneuvering, tap on this. Alright, looks like traffic, 4 running limit. 7 air 12, contact Montgomery Tower, 119.2. 7 air 182 to Montgomery Tower, 119.2, good day. 7 air 16, Montgomery Tower, Devon air 82182 is inbound on the ILS, full stop. 7882, Montgomery Tower, runway 28 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 28 right, Devon Air, 8282. Alright. Landing, you're down. Okay, we're on the glide slope, 3000. There we go. That's better. Grip now your speed. Good. Now we're in the whites. Light slope. We got some flaps, a lot more flaps. Might be an outer marker.
All right, we're breaking out. You see it? Yep. All right. Montgomery Tower, Debonair 182 field in sight. Debonair uh, 182, thank you. All right, now we've broken out of the clouds. Uh, I have just told the ATC I have the field in sight, and I have gone fully visual at this point. If we look at the needles, the localized and the glide slope needles, now, from this point on, I'm not paying attention to those needles at all. I'm just looking at the runway, and I'm flying this plane down to the runway. And honestly, until I saw this video, I didn't even notice it, but after getting visual of the runway, I had not looked at my instruments, my localizer and glide slope once. But by looking outside and looking at the runway and flying visually, the localizer and glide slope are centered all the way down. And that's what I've been trying to tell you. Once you have visual of that runway, maintaining that glide slope and that uh, localizer centered is a heck of a lot easier doing it visually than trying to uh, fly the needles. Anyway guys, watch the rest of this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Wind check. Wind 170 at 3. That's a direct crosswind, but it's a little one. Yeah, 3's not too bad. I don't have to grab it in. Plane one eight zero four. Debonair 182, left 1-8, cross 2-8 left, and then contact ground. Left 1-8, cross 2-8 left, and then ground. Debonair 182. 